Hi everyone, it's Tammy and welcome to this card series. This is going to be using the Season Like Christmas stamp set that is available through Stampin' Up. And I am an independent demonstrator. If you guys are interested in purchasing anything, you can shop at my shop down below. And I am going to be using some Whisper White cardstock along with some foiled designer series paper and um, some of the thick baker's twine in Whisper White. For this card and then I think I'm going to use I'm trying to decide what colors I want I think I will use chocolate chip for the branches or the stem and then I will use I think I'm going to do two different shades of green maybe this garden green and old olive yeah I think I'm going to use those two colors for this one so let's go ahead and get started and I'm doing this series partly because I need to make some Christmas cards so why not take you along on some cards that I need to make so this is an A2 size card and I have just cut this card front so that it fits right inside just a quarter of an inch shorter on each long ways and uh, width and height And then this one I cut at three inches and I think I'm going to put it right there in the middle. That looks kind of cool. Okay, before I put it down though, I'm going to get my stamp set out and I'm trying to decide which one I want to stamp first. I think I will stamp the big tree first. And I will do that in, I'm going to do that in garden green. And I'm going to put it right here, kind of in the middle. And this is the first time I've used the stamp set, so I'm kind of excited about it. Then I'm taking it's a two stamp and stamp set so then I'm taking the second one it's a little bit I don't know we'll see I was gonna I was gonna say something but I'm not sure if what I was going to say is true so I will wait and see usually on the two stampin ones I always recommend to do the light and then the dark so I don't know why I chose to do differently just because I kind of think that it's going to be in a different spot this time. I could be totally wrong though. It's all right, but you know what? I should have done the light and then the dark. That is always the best rule for these. I don't know why I was hesitant to do it that way. Oh well. <laughs> and then I'm going to use the chocolate chip. So learn from my mistakes. <laughs> and I even tell you guys that. I don't know why I did it differently. This is kind of cool. I've not seen a stamp like this before. Oh, that's awesome, though. Oh, that's really cool. That just really made it come together. I am loving that. And then I'm going to make this the ground. I think you could make it either a, and I'm not putting very much ink on it. I think you could make it a, like a tree skirt if you wanted to, too. And then there's even some lights or whatever you'd like for this to be that you can put right on top and I think for this one I might use let's use that cherry cobbler I 
hadn't decided if I was going to use that or not, but now I'm looking at this card. I really like it. Oh, that's cute. <laughs> if I say so myself. Going to use one of the sentiments that it comes with and I'm just going to use a small one because I want to put it down here so this one says thinking of you at Christmas and I think I'm going to do it in the cherry cobbler because I like the whole green and red thing You know what? I think I'll use the star and put a star on top. Let me get the light for Dijon. Sounds like a good one. There we go. going to take this twine and wrap it around just a couple of times And then when I get it where I want it, I'm going to put it back here. And then I'm going to kind of tighten it because I didn't get it very tight. So I'm just holding it with my hands and kind of pinching it in the middle so that when I put this tape on, it, you know, like comes together so that it's, and then I'm just going to put some right here so that I know that it's staying up. And then I'm just going to place this right down here in the middle of the card and it goes from top to bottom like that and then I'm going to take my scissors and trim these off and then I'm going to take my little paper piercer and I'm going to fray these ends I think that looks kind of neat and actually you know what I need to make this one a little shorter and then I get to fray it again <laughs> So thanks so much for watching and enjoy your day. Bye-bye.